At the start of the pandemic, Sunny World basically made us all redundant. They made anyone that had between 18 months and three years service redundant. They kept anyone who'd been there less than 18 months on zero pay and anyone above three years on 40% pay. So from that, we started the Cineworld Action Group. That started from just being a group chat with Cineworld workers based on our site. And before long, it also included Cineworld workers from Aberdeen, Glasgow and Edinburgh. And from that, it then grew throughout the whole UK. So we have about 1,300 members of the Cineworld Action Group now, reaching all corners of the country. Including, we've got some people over in Dublin as well that are filling us in on the situation over there. Basically, on the back of the redundancies, we wrote an open letter to Mickey Greidinger, the CEO of Cineworld, basically asking him to reinstate all staff that had been sacked and put all staff on 100% furlough. So from using social media kind of as our main tool for that, we managed to get about 700 signatures within a week or so. And eventually Cineworld did turn around and they reinstated all of the staff. He reinstated us on 80% furlough, which wasn't what we were going for, but it was still better than what they'd been planning to do for us. Also, I didn't have very much experience in organising something so big, so it was a really good experience for me. I taught myself how to write things like a press release, sent that out to local papers across the whole of the UK. It got picked up everywhere, basically. We have Twitter accounts and things like that that have nearly a thousand followers and it's getting a lot of attention in the press and the media. I've been interviewed by the BBC, The Guardian, by a lot of other big name kind of media companies, which has been really good to get that outreach. Social media, we've found, has been such a useful tool. It's already useful, but I think during the pandemic it's really come into its own because that's how people are communicating with each other now. And it was a way of organising workers, especially young workers, because that's kind of the platforms that they're the most engaged with a lot of the time. And it's organising workers who maybe haven't heard of what a trade union is or they've never been in a trade union. They've been in precarious work since they've started working, which is a lot of the people that work in Cineworld. And we've kind of formed activist groups with other cinema sites around the UK. So we've got Odeon workers as well, and we've got people that work for Picture House. We've also got people like Showcase and The View. So, you know, it's been really good to get that kind of outreach and show to cinema workers that we do have power together. And that's been really inspiring to see. I think the most important thing has been taking the power back to the workers 